Let's chat. Father's Day is right around the corner, and Rosemary Palmer from Not Just Paper and Paint is back to show us something easy to create for your dad. All right, good morning. All good right, morning. So I see a lot of picture frames. So what are we going to do here? I know Bree's going to be working on something. I know, well, I heard, <laughs> yeah, craft. It is a kind of uh -huh. a rainy day outside. And so I was thinking there's probably a lot of moms that, you know, when school's out, they're looking for yes. these items. This is something right. that we can get a little bit part. Part. There's, there's, creative with. Right. There's a few things when we start using a knife or the hot glue a little bit. Right. But if you've got older kids, you right. know. Absolutely. But we're going to start off with using just a couple of real basic frames. You may even have an old frame around the house. These are actually just a dollar at Michael's. Okay, so, so any I mean, craft store. Right, any craft store, you can get these for like a dollar, maybe even bigger ones for three or four dollars. Okay. And so, what you want to do is think about maybe a hobby, a craft, or what I started off with this one. I actually made this for my husband. I love this. We recently did a road trip, uh, 13 days, and this is where I used an old atlas, and you can pick them up at thrift stores, yard sales for maybe mm -hmm. 25 cents, and I tore out all of the places that we went to. And you circled them. And then I <laughs> circled them at the end, and it's kind of like a puzzle, because you have to tear it out, and then you have to get it placed, and what I did was, after I got it all figured out, then you just decoupage it on with some Mod Podge, okay. and this you can pick up at Walmart, any of the craft stores, again, when you use uh, one of the good brushes, mm -hmm. it's a little bit stiffer than a normal paintbrush, okay. you just put on a thin layer of the Mod Podge. Right. And you say Mod Podge, that is because you said that some people right. are not as familiar. I don't know that I've worked with that right. very much. It but is it's kind of it's a glue. It's just a glue, okay. but it's also a sealer. Okay. So okay. it's not just a glue. So you just put it on your thin coat of your Mod Podge, and you would want to put it all under the paper, okay. put it down, and then you put on another thin layer of the Mod Podge, so and just you let it to dry. Make it stick. Right, and then you let it dry. That can depend on the humidity how much Mod Podge you use and how thick your paper is. So usually after even just maybe a couple of hours or let it dry overnight. Then what you would want to do is, and you let it overhang, so you want to make sure you get your edges covered. Right. And then we would pretend that that is dry and then you would want to get a mat out okay. and an X-Acto knife or you probably could even use scissors if you were working with kids and what you would do is just trim off that excess the edges and then that way you would have a nice sharp edge that one tore a little bit because it was still wet that's a reason to let it dry all the okay. way. And I don't know Super if they can simple. see that at home, but that is actually a piece of music that you've right. decided to Right, old sheet use. music. Okay. Again, pick those up at thrift stores, yard sales, or maybe you've got, this is actually from a book that my husband had, and I would call it vintage. I won't call him <laughs> old. I would call it vintage sheet That's music. So right. right. And then when I got done with this and after it was all dry, then you put a second coat on, and that's what seals it. That's going to keep it here. from... I'm ripping off, this morning. <laughs> and then that's going to okay. do that. Then, to make it extra special for us with our trip to Texas, I put, I took a Sharpie pen right. and circled those places because this won't smear. If you just use a regular marker, it might would smear on that Mod Podge, and you don't want to let that. And you don't want that to happen. Great if somebody has a hobby that you know you can do a certain theme with it. Right. You could go to any of the craft stores, get scrapbook paper. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's cars. Other types of fishing, travel, if it's for fishing, dad. yes, <laughs> anything. So I'm that's, back over. I'm just that's an all easy over way to do that. We're going to go to this one. So right now here. then we're going to gun. go to the U <laughs> Rock. And I this is that. basically just a cheap picture frame. Again, pick one up. Mm -hmm. You could probably pick the, you could even use one of these. And I will say that I did paint the edges in the back of just using some craft paint or okay. any kind of paint that you have at home. Okay, right. great. So then this one is basically, uh -oh. what are rocks? Now well, we have double, double, went, double yes. work. All right, now, we, now you get one. Okay. <laughs> now I get one. Now I'll just lay that down. Okay, all right. Okay. That would what I did here was took all of okay. my rocks and you kind of make a pattern out right. of it. Right, and, and that's the pattern up there. Right. we got a few uh -huh. extra. Okay. And then make what the you pattern. can do when you do that, take a picture with okay. your phone and you have that to kind of go side. by. Yeah. Okay. And then if you're using the hot glue, now you can see this was kind of cold, so right. the hot glue, when it hit that hard surface, it did come off. Okay. You could also use a craft glue, like E6000. Okay. That's going to hold it a little bit yeah, more Sometimes I'll start with that, and then I'll reinforce right. with the hot glue. Right, you can yes. do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what you would do, <laughs> you have this kind of laid out here, right. and then just, and what you want to do is make sure you have a flat side okay. against your frame. Is it ready for me to start? It is. Okay. And this then is what you would want to do is just put a little bit on there, 
Just okay. squeeze the trigger, okay? Right. I like this And one. then you would place that. <laughs> Hot glue every and one, day. <laughs> one thing about it, on the bottom <laughs> of it, you would want to make sure that you have all of your rocks okay. above the bottom because if you put it down below, it right. might And you make painted this one. Yes, I did paint this color. one. Again, that could be painted any color to match your decor. I thought this looked a little bit beachy. Right. Then just print off, you rock on your computer, or right. even have your kids ride it out. Right. That so would even be a lot cuter. Seashells or something. You right. On the beach and well, and if you had a beach yeah. photo, then right. you could take that. And then there you, you could have that. So it's really about customizing and right. kind of creating mm -hmm. your own. So I'm going to continue to do this. And what is this okay. one here? And Let's then talk this about this one is one of the easiest photo frames it looks super that easy, you can cute. ever do. This is just a scrap piece of wood that I had that I stained with some stain and glaze. Then you take your jute cord, uh -huh. wrap it around there. It's just hot glued in the back. Use some mini clothespins on there to hold your the picture. picture. Okay, nice. And I have actually seen these in some woodworking stores mm -hmm. for like $28. I think I have seen something similar as well, uh -huh. yeah. And this is super and it looks expensive. Good right. It looks like something that somebody might, a man kind of might want to have in their office. Or? And then mm -hmm. again, you could always paint that if okay. you was wanting to use, like with the beachy theme, you could always uh, Hot glue a couple of shells down at the bottom. Right, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Love it. So many great mm -hmm. ideas. Yes. And again, you said little adult supervision. Anyone right. can do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, anybody. Any time with the hot glue especially or the X-Acto knife. But that's why I say you could always use your scissors for the right. kids to do it too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you have a great website that people yes. can go to to get this right. idea. So that and we so can all more. You have food and recipes and everything. Right, on your and site. everything. <laughs> and even you can hear about our trip to Texas. So. Perfect. Mm -hmm. right. That yeah. is mm -hmm. not just paperandpaint.com. Correct. I'm getting down now. Yeah, you are. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to check her out on social media. Also, she is on Facebook, Instagram. It's all there. All of your ideas. Stick around because we'll be right.